Number seven, request more information. If the speaker has not mentioned something, it may be because he or she does not think it is important. However, when you ask about that information, you may be able to show that there are other factors in the situation that could be important. Other excellent questions for promoting critical thinking include, why do you think that was? What do you think the other person was thinking? As you can see, all of our active listening techniques can help others in their reflective practice. Now, let's look at some additional techniques for encouraging reflective practice and critical thinking in others. Number eight, ask questions the other person hasn't thought of. In critical thinking, we need to examine our assumptions but it is usually quite hard to even realize what our assumptions are. Our assumptions and habits can make us forget the importance of some factors. For example, if a teacher sees a student frowning in class, he might automatically assume that the student is unhappy. A few questions from someone else might help the teacher consider other possibilities. For example, is it possible that that is just what she looks like when she concentrates? Or how is her eyesight? Maybe she can't read what is written on the board. Number nine, take an objective stance. Many times people can't think critically about a situation because they are too emotionally involved. People who are not involved in the same situation can help the other person think the event through when they offer an objective point of view. Number 10. Offer a different way of seeing things. This is like number 6 except that you don't have to only offer your point of view. You can help the other person imagine someone else's point of view. Number 11. Get the other person thinking about the future. Reflective practice includes considering how to adjust one's practice in the future. It is important to first think critically on past experiences and what they mean. But when the time is right, it is also important to think about implications for the future. You can ask the person you are listening to what they plan to do in the future. If they have given some ideas, but you have some other ideas, you might want to suggest alternative courses of action. And number 12, be respectful. Reflective practice is hard work for everyone. There are always perspectives we haven't considered and a lot of emotional issues connected to our work. It is important to respect the other person and choose our comments and questions wisely. These are the references that were used in writing this script. And here are three open source articles that we suggest you look at if you're interested in learning more about reflective practice. And here's also one recommended related video that we suggest that was sponsored by the Embassy in Angola and is about reflective teaching and reflective practice.